Hey y'all, it's your girl Daisy Dooms, aka the Shy Stripper. So today is Sunday, Sunday fun day. We got some things going on today. So right now it's like 12 something. Um, Luna and I are actually going to go get some brunch. We're going to go try this new margarita place spot because they got margarita towers. <laughs> and I like me a good old margarita. So we're going to head on over there. After that, I do have the PYT um, tour workshop thing, whatever that I'm doing today. <laughs> So the two people that are coming to this tour are owner of the brand, the owner of the brand, and Naomi. She's a petite black girl. She's really good, y'all. Like I fucking, they're both really good. Um, so those two are coming today. I'm gonna try and see how much you know I can get how much recording, how much content I can get in class today. What I'm just doing now is about to do my hair, wet it, get that wet look or whatever. It is raining outside. Um, mm, y'all. Let me I should, I think, okay, so I've been using water, mousse, and mousse the first time I did it. Then the last time for the audition vlog, I used water, mousse, and this extreme gel to get that look. I think I'm gonna try something else in the extreme gel. Hold on though. Cause either I need to put my glasses on or my contacts cause the world is real fuzzy right now. After the workshop, <clears throat> after the workshop, I'm debating on if I'm going to go work tonight at the club that I got hired at on Thursday. This is what I like about a curly wig. A real human hair curly wig. I just got to put water and maybe a few products if I really want to. And go. I don't have to curl it, put heat on it, damage the hair or anything. <laughs> Almost hit myself in the eye. Y'all, Luna's here and her ass. Her period finally came on and explains why she's been acting the way she's been acting all week. Cause she's been PMSing y'all. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm in pain. I'm sore. I slept like shit. My breakfast was shit. I just, and then when I finally started to fall asleep, everyone decided to blow my phone up. So I woke the fuck back up. Oh God, I hate it here. <laughs> I don't deserve this in my season. Let's go get brunch. Your first drink's on me. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> oh my god, and then this fucking broke ass bitch in the club last night. I went not Grey's Anatomy in the background. Period. Is that O'Malley? Oh, I miss him. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I went to the club last night. I made $800 period and it was a pretty um i mean i put in actual effort but it wasn't a hard effort a lot of people were throwing money but the last song of the night so there was a little group of younger people that had been by the stage all night they tipped me a lot on stage and the girl one of the girls that was with them she was like oh my god you're amazing like this is my first time in a strip club it's my 21st birthday i'm like oh thank you so much baby like I'm glad we got to be part of your first experience. She was an absolute sweetheart. And at the end of the night, um, her cousin, he, I went to him because I saw him. And I'm like, I can get one more dancing. And I knew he seemed like an easy target. I go to the cousin. He's like, I, I'm trying to get money. But he's like, honestly, you should go to my cousin. Um, as in a guy cousin. He's like, you need to go over there to him. He been tipping all night, but he ain't gotten a dance. He ain't never been in here. I think he's scared. I think you need to take him up there. I'm like, okay, I will say less. I go to the cousin. I'm like, your cousin says you need to go up there. He's like, where? I'm like, VIP. It's 25. You need to come with me. He's like, what are we going to do? I'm like, I'm going to dance for you. We're going to have a good time. He's like, you got to show me what you can do. I'm like, you seen what I can do on stage all night. And he's like, okay, you right. So he went up with VIP to me. Sorry, he went up with me to VIP. And 
he got the damn dance. Was trying to grab all of all me, talking about you should link up with us, like what you doing after this. And then when the song ended, I'm like, so can you, where's my twenty five dollar? It was in his hand, and he had like put a dollar in my garter. I'm like, oh, you gotta give me the rest of it. He's like, what you mean? I'm like, for the dance. He's like, I didn't come and look for you. I'm like, I didn't say you did. Your cousin sent me over and you voluntarily got this dance. He's like, I didn't come and find you why I gotta pay. I'm like, cause you sat there and got the dance. He's like, no, I didn't blah, blah, blah. I'm like, sir, hold up. Do you have an issue with getting me my money? He's like, I'm not worried about money. That's just corny. Cause I didn't know. I'm like, you came up here and got the full dance and He's like, no, that's lame. And finally, I got the bouncer. I'm like, he's having a problem. Give me my money. This man was arguing with me about $25. And the worst part, his poor little sister was in there getting a dance with one of the other girls who's my friend. And at the end of the night, her, my friend came and told me that his sister was like, oh my God, that's my brother. I knew he was going to do some shit like this. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> So, no, I got the bouncer. The bouncer's like, go, go get dressed, because it was the last song of the night. Anyway, I'm like, you really want me to go get your cousin and tell him you in here putting your family to shame because you argue with me about $25? That's embarrassing. Broke boy energy. It, it was. And he's like, nah, she's lame. Like, I didn't come and look for you. I ain't never been in here. I don't know how it works. I'm like, you think I just was going to give you a dance for free? Okay. And the bouncer's like, you got the dance. And he's like, well, she came and found me. I thought she was fucking with me. Like, excuse me? I literally you told you. Money. So anyway, the bouncers had to get my money. And but I'm just like, it's also he was literally holding it in his hand. And I pointed that out. I'm like, you literally had $25 in your hand. He's like, I've been holding my money all night. I'm like, your money is $25. <laughs> Regardless, it was the last song of the night, which he got and had the money in his hand. And again, even like if I went to a strip club and I was mildly confused on it and I got the dance, if it was my friend, let alone my family's birthday, and I was there with them, I'm not about to make a damn scene and embarrass them. Like, what kind of bullshit? He should be banned. And the fact that his little sister was there like, oh my god. Like, I feel bad for her because she was an angel. But yeah, other than that, it was a good night. So, fantastic. 10 out of 10. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home from brunch um luna has decided that she's not gonna work today so she's gonna go pick up my friend from the airport and i'm gonna go to work today but i'm about to get ready to pack my bag for the pole workshop because i need to be leaving like in the next 10 minutes we gonna get there on time um so yeah you call i'll see y'all once i get to the workshop i don't think y'all ever showed y'all my fit but here's the fit for today. So a little bodysuit on, some necklaces, my jeans, and some shoes. Period. Hey y'all, so as you'll see, I'm back at home. I finished day one of the PYT workshop. Um, it was really nice. I'll probably tell y'all more about it when I get home because I'm in a rush to try to like hurry up and get ready for the club tonight. So I'll tell y'all a little bit more about the workshop when I get home while I'm doing like my money count and stuff.
nachos tonight. Okay, so hey y'all, it is Tuesday. I'm horrible at this vlogging thing, like, I know, I know, I know. But I just want to give y'all a recap of my nights at the club because I didn't record the outros for them, or I didn't record the, rec the recaps for them on those nights because I was just so tired once I got home. I counted my money, showered, ate, and went to bed. But anyway, so this club that I've worked at, I've worked at for... I've worked at three nights now. Um, it's nice. It's kind of upscale. Businessmen come in. I feel like ballers and like football players and stuff like that will come in too because it's located right in the heart of the city. And it's like really close to the football stadium. But um, I haven't met those people yet or I don't think I have. I just meet like, you know, either regular people or people just really want to spend money, whatever. But anyways... First night, um, last Thursday when I worked, I made a little over 300. Sunday when I worked, I made a little over 300. Um, Sunday, at first it was like me and two other girls there and I got there around nine o'clock, as y'all saw. Um, and then after that, it was like hella girls. I was making money until like one o'clock and then once one o'clock hit, I just couldn't make no more money. Like. No matter how many people I went to and tried, it was no, no, no. I would go on stage, make not a dollar. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why am I not making money? This doesn't make any sense. Um, and then, like, I got on another stage, my last stage, and I made, like, $20. And that was the last money I made all night. So, that's it for that night. It was just, it was really weird Sunday. I'm not going to lie. It was, first, it was three girls. Then, it was hella girls. Um, and every night I've stayed till close because that last little hour makes a difference sometimes. Like it did Thursday night. I made like an extra maybe 40, 50, 40 to a hundred dollars on, um, that Thursday night. Um, but anyways, so last night, last night, y'all, last night, it was only two girls there, including me. I was the second and last girl to arrive. And I arrived, I didn't get out until like 9.20ish on the floor. Um, yeah, it was me and homegirl on rotation. And half the time, actually, we really weren't on rotation. Like, we were when we first started, but he would give us breaks in between. The DJ would give us breaks in between. But, like, throughout the night, it was a little... There was just no girls on stage because we were like giving VIPs and doing stuff. So we just couldn't be on stage. Um, there was a group of like Asians who were there. They would literally just sit money on the stage until a girl would come on stage. So whatever money was on that stage at the time and the girl, the next girl who came up, that was her money. And then plus they would keep throwing money. They were so nice. They were, I think they were drunk. Anyways, but yeah, they were nice. Like they really, one girl was like, do the, do the, do the other, the booty thing where it goes up, down, down. Like, and she was talking about the booty isolation. So I did that and she was like, oh my God. And it's like, they throw money, throw money. It was great. It was great. <laughs> and when I went into the bathroom, they had came, some of the girls had came in and they, um, they were trying to learn how to do it. So I was trying to teach them, but it was kind of hard. <laughs> I don't know. That's just that one you just have to practice and you eventually get it. It was it was a crazy night. Um, I made most of my money from stage. I probably made about anywhere from two to three hundred from VIPs. Maybe. I know I traded in at least I traded in four hundred dollars in ones. Um, so last night I made over $900 and I didn't even realize that. Like, I didn't even realize I had that much money. I was walking around. So we have these little buckets or whatever. And so at first when I got there, you know, I did my first stage set. I made some money. So they gave, they give you a bucket. 
well as I, I just kept that bucket for the whole night because it just kept getting full and so i would straighten it put it in my little money bag the bucket would get full again and eventually i would just walk around with a full bucket um but yeah i had a lot of ones i didn't realize how much money i had until um it was like the very very end of the night um i finished doing some vips for a guy and the one of the foremen up in the VIP area was like, hey, you know, we want you to trade in your ones. We really need some ones. So I was going down, saw the house mom. She was like, hey, can you trade in your ones? I was like, yeah. So I was walking with her up there. Then um, a guy stopped me and was like, okay, I want some more VIP. So I went back up there, came back down. It was the last two songs of the night. Got him to get the last two. So then I went back upstairs to the house mom to trade my ones. As I was counting, I was like, how the hell I got $400 at ones? And I still had big bills. Like, wait. I didn't realize I had that much money. I got home. I was counting my money. I was like, dang, I got a lot of 20s. I mean, I didn't have that much. Well, yeah, I did. Because I only had two or three, three hundreds. I had a few, quite a few 50s, quite a few 20s. And I only had like three, I meant four ones left. So I treat, yeah, I had nothing but boot bills when I came home last night. It was crazy. But last night was a prosperous night with it just being me and one of the girls. It was perfect. Even though I was busy, I like being busy as long as I'm making money. So that was perfect. If it would have been like, maybe if it would have been one more girl, it would have been still pretty good, you know? That would have been a good, like, little healthy distribution. But me and homegirl held it down. We held it down. One girl, I had just came down from the VIP, and there was a girl and two guys sitting down. And I was about to walk to the bathroom. She stopped me. She was like, "Hey, babe, are you um get on stage anytime soon?" I was like, "Yeah, babe. I just got came from VIP. I'm gonna go freshen up, and then I'm gonna go on stage." And so I went freshen up. I went and talked to the DJ. I was like, "Hey, can I get on stage soon?" I gave him some money, and he was like, "Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here tonight." I was like, "Yeah, of course." And so. I came back down to home ground. I was like, hey, babe, I'm about to go on stage soon. I went and talked to the DJ. She was like, okay. I got on stage, and they threw, they, that table alone of three people, they threw at least, she had a stack of 100. I know she threw that all on me. Then her friends had some money. So I know I made at least like 200 from them on, on my stage with just, um, yeah, for just two songs. And then the guy who I was giving the VIPs to, he would come and tip me a little bit too. So that was good. But yeah, y'all, this is a recap from the past few nights that I've worked at this new club. I like it. I've been wanting to work here for a while and finally here. And I think it's paying off. Um, Right now, I'm, I guess I'm just going to stick to Sunday Mondays because clearly not many girls come in those days. And that's perfect for me. My house fee... Thursday was $10, my house fee Sunday was $10, and my house fee on Monday was free. Um, So, yeah, Mondays are free. Tuesday through Thursday, the house fee is $10. And then Friday and Saturday, I, I can't remember what it starts at, maybe like $20. And then at 11 o'clock is the latest you can clock in, and the tip out is like $60, which is still not bad because I've worked at places where the tip out is usually more than that. It starts at like $60 at the other black club that I used to work at. So speaking of that other club is opening back up on April 1st. So I'm like, hmm, do I want to go back and try it? Is it still going to be a health hazard for me to work there? Am I not going to die trying to pee in the bathroom? I don't know. We'll see. It depends. They've been advertising it like crazy. And my friend said it looks nice from the outside, but I don't know. I need to maybe go in there as a customer, check it out, and see what type of renovations they did. Because if it's still them raggedy ass poles, a raggedy ass bathroom, I don't know. And they used to hire any and everybody. Now they're like, oh, you need to have your makeup done, your nails done, your hair done, da da da. da. I don't know how true they're going to stick to that or whatever. I don't know, you know, what kind of girls are still going to be working there. We'll see. Anyways, I'm not going to carry this on too long. I just wanted to come back and recap on my experience at this new club because, you know, we get hired all around the city. We trying to bounce around, see where this money at. And then if it ain't here, 
Like when it slows down in the summertime, which is usually what it does, I'll probably be heading back to Myrtle because people go to Myrtle all the time in the summertime. Like this, it's just a thing. Y'all saw I paid off my car and a couple videos ago, I told y'all how I paid off my car. I got my title for it and everything, like done deal. Now I'm going to be taking three classes over the summer. It's a lot of overlap, blah, blah, blah. But working last night basically made it so that I paid off my tuition already for the, my summer, my three summer classes that I'm taking. Tuition is done. It was 3024 I got it saved up, period. If y'all know any people who do like sex work, worker friendly taxes, I know people say H&R Block, but there are social media person tweeted out that stuff like that. That doesn't mean the individual um, tax preparers at H&R Block, at every H&R Block are sex worker friendly and have that same mindset. So I'm not going to necessarily like go straight to them. I'm trying to find like specific um, sex worker friendly type tax preparers and personal accountants that I can get this thing going and know how to really show all that I'm doing and all that I pay for. Anyways, y'all, I'm done talking. This is it. I'll see y'all for the next vloggy vlog. Y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to comment nice things, hopefully. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Like the video because it's a free way to show your support. And if you haven't already subscribed, because, you know, why not? Pray y'all stay safe out here. Enjoy outside, and I'll see y'all on the flip side. Bye.